You're tuned to Russ McClellan and Friends on the Real Estate Show, Home Sweet Home. Let's get back to Russ. Welcome back to Home Sweet Home with Russ McClellan. Beautiful day in June 2021, post-COVID virus. All right, I said it, post-COVID virus, we're opening up. Let's have some fun again, people. I'm with Lois Daniel with Frontline Real Estate Team, powered by Keller Williams in Lake Chelan, Washington, who also was very inspirational in creating this show. Hi, Lois. Hello. Let's get into X's and O's. We've been talking oh, yeah. mindset and emotion, inspiration, motivation, getting unstuck. Now let's talk about X's and O's. You've been with us for one year. How are you doing now? Are you busy? Are you slow? Are you making money? Are you learning? What's happening? Well, it's been a, a wonderful process. Uh, I like to learn. Uh, and uh, I've had the opportunity to, uh, through Keller Williams, uh, learn take courses, um, and I have an opportunity to learn every day if I like. Uh, and that's part of my routine also. I try and get in a course every morning with leads, uh, lead contact, and, uh, and then I'm out on the road. It has been a great year. Um, I'm, I'm somebody who, who really likes to get as much information as I possibly can before, <laughs> before going out. So there is a learning curve. There's no question. Uh, and there's so much information in real estate. But the fun part is that it's all provided uh, through Keller Williams. And I was fortunate to join the Keller Williams frontline team in Lake Chelan. And so the support that I had from my team has been amazing. Um, to be able to uh, just give anyone a call, what's that? How do I do this? Uh, you know, the support that I've had, uh, I couldn't do it without them. And so I would highly recommend when you're starting out in this business to be part of a team uh, because the learning curve is obviously a lot quicker. Uh, and um, there are people like Russ with 30 years of experience, knows everyone. And, and so that's been fun. So I like to learn. I like a growth mindset. Uh, so I've learned so much over this last year, which I really appreciate. And um, part of being confident in this business and in any business is having the knowledge. Uh, and so over the course of the year, I've picked up more and more. And uh, of course, there's more confidence as you go out and sell. Uh, you're out there in Lake Chelan on a mountain telling people about the sewer system and, and septic and, you know, learning about uh, all of those new nuances and, and new things have, have been fantastic. So. Having said that, uh, it's been an extraordinary year for me uh, because I like that growth mindset. I've learned a lot. I love the business, and I really like the flexibility. Uh, and it's funny, when it's your own business and when you're in it, you know, because you love it and you're in it because you want to help people, uh, there's no time. And for me, there is no time. So in terms of all of that, um, I have had quite a few sales. Uh, and, uh, like any business, as you start out, uh, it takes time, time to grow, time to grow your business. So you have to be prepared for that, I think. Uh, but it has been an extraordinary experience for my first year. Love it. Yeah. Well, you're not afraid to do the hard work, right? So that's part of it. What often is the case, what I've seen in people that come from a, a background, especially if you're getting a W2 as an employee and you come into real estate and you do have that flexibility, it can be a trap mentally because all of a sudden you don't have somebody telling you when to get up, when to take a break, when to have lunch, when to go home, and you end up sitting around eating bonbons, right? <laughs> I've seen it happen over and over and over again. I, I've mm -hmm. actually asked uh, a person once, I said, you're doing 80 hours in your day job that you hated, and so you got into real estate, and now you're not doing as well as you thought you were. But I said, how many hours are you actually putting into your business? Because it is your business. Mm -hmm. You're now an entrepreneur. Right. And, and there's an, there's an old adage, you know, I can't remember what book it was, Entrepreneurship Roller Coaster by Darren Hardy, maybe, that said, hey, look, uh, you're a cake baker. Great. You work for a, a bakery and you bake cakes. Well, as soon as you open your own cake bakery company, you're no longer a cake baker. You're now an entrepreneur. And baking mm -hmm. cakes is just one of a hundred components. So not to be in, not to intimidate anybody, but you have to have that mindset of I'm going to give it all I got because you need to in a startup. But when two o'clock comes around, your kid has a game. There's no boss telling you you can't go to it. Mm -hmm. What's that worth? Mm -hmm. 
what is that, to your point, flexibility worth in your life? Granted, Saturdays and Sundays, sometimes you got to work. But sometimes on Mondays and Tuesdays, you don't. And it can be balance, right? You can have balance as an entrepreneur. And to do that with discipline is, is also not easy because all of a sudden you're addicted to the deal. And that can be detrimental. So we actually do coaching on balance as well as how to sell real estate. But, you know, before I go, I want you to just talk about, like, is there a lot of ways to do this game? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you can uh, you you can keep your full time job and 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 work on the side uh, for the next six months, a year, learning about the business, and then gradually transition. Um, you can uh, you know you can do part time. You could go into it full you know full time. Uh, you can dabble in it. Uh, you can you can just get information. I mean, there there are so many ways to go about this, you know, and the key is just to start. And by the way, to your point, Russ, um, when it's your business, it's, it's a different ballgame. Uh, working for someone is very different than your own business. And so I found that my investment, I mean, 10 hours in a day goes by so quickly because I'm invested. And so the whole mindset of your own business and doing your own thing is very different than working for someone thinking, I gotta go in. And second point to this is the world is changing and I'm seeing it in real estate. I am seeing people come over from Seattle, Portland, California. They wanna buy, they can work from anywhere now. The, the world is wide open. You can be anywhere at any time and, and be in this job and, and, and run your own business from anywhere. I'm seeing people buy land because they're moving over to the sun and they want their own business. They can do it from anywhere. And, and that's another really, really positive part about what's going on right now in life. Uh, so if you can go anywhere and work from anywhere, why not have your own business? Why not be in control of what you're doing and, and have the support? A lot of people open their own businesses and they're just out there. Here you go. And it's going to take me three years to get it, understand it. But when you have a whole team behind you, that is completely different. It's a completely different ballgame. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And you knew by being an ad exec, you had other real estate companies and other real estate mm -hmm. agents, not to name names, but there are people in the business that mm -hmm. do the business differently. There's a lot of ways to do this game. And if you don't like what you're hearing from another real estate company or another broker, your aunt, your uncle, your, your cousin, uh, and they're like, I don't want that lifestyle. Well, I'm telling you what, maybe that's not what we do. Because I can promise you this, Keller Williams is the only company that does things the way we do. That's why we're now in firmly in number two in volume and are going into our third calendar year of being open, right? That's number two in volume. We've passed everybody in the first two years of being open. And we're number one in agent count with almost 80 agents by far. But you know what? You might look around and go, man, everybody's got a real estate license. There's always room for talent. There's always room for energy. There's always room for enthusiasm. And those people coming out of this last year, to your point, as the landscape changes, if you think you're going to do what you've always done and get what you've always gotten, you will be broke. Mm -hmm. That's how it's going to go down. You're going to go broke. Because you must adopt, change, embrace exciting new things, even if it is scary. <laughs> but that's the fun part. Yeah. You know? Right. Well, I mean, you're taking absolutely zero risk coming to talk to us. No risk at all. Right. Just have a conversation. Give us a call. We'll take you through the entire process. You mentioned that I've been in the game 30 plus years. I have. I got a license in 1989. I don't think the fax machine was invented then, just to put it in perspective for the youngsters out there that are listening. So here's the thing. I'm working on some, I'm working on some of the biggest projects that I've ever worked on and have more excitement and energy in my 30-something year than I ever have. And in large part because I gained this thing called wisdom through this other thing called scar tissue of my mind, right? I made a lot of crazy mistakes and learned, right? One of those is humility and learning through humility to become learning based. You know, if you can survive your 20s and 30s, then hopefully you can get there, right? But if you're willing to listen and you're willing to adopt something new, 
that maybe is different than you're doing now if you're currently in real estate and you're like, man, this sucks because I'm out there, there's 27 offers on every house and it's just not fair. And you start playing that life is not fair game. Fair and unfair is not the position you want to take. It's all about I'm going to take the bull by the horns and I'm going to plow the road by taking a step with action, not thinking, action. And that starts by picking up the phone and calling Lois because Lois is not an owner. Lois works for Keller Williams with the Frontline team and she will tell you the honest to goodness truth about her story. That's the thing about transparency in our business of Keller Williams. We are a profit-sharing company. We profit share at almost 49%. No other company does that. Her number, Lois, Daniel, 509-668-7277. Now that I've scared you, get a pen because it's worth the call. It's going to change your life. I promise you because it changed mine when I talked to her. 509-668-7277. Or you can email her. Now you got to get a pen. Here it comes. Lois, L-O-I-S dot D-A-I-G-N-E-A-U-L-T at KW.com. That was wonderful being here. We're Make gonna, the call. Get Do it today. Yeah. Do it now. Yeah, That's what I say to everyone. Do it now. Yeah, we're growing. The world's getting smaller, and we're growing like crazy. We need more people. Thanks for tuning in. we got Michael Maher and Prime Linden coming up in the next segment. 